Here we have a model that is meant to represent an individual osteon. Now remember that osteons are long cylindrical structures. What this model is doing for you is cutting away parts of the cylinder, taking away some of the layers so that you can see the design of the osteon. We have lacunae represented here that would be occupied by the osteocytes. Notice also that we have these channels that are interconnecting the lacunae. These channels are the canaliculi. You can see the osteocytes and the blue objects within the osteocytes would be the nuclei of these osteocytes. Notice also that the processes of these osteocytes have been colored in and you can see that they are penetrating through or going through the narrow channels which we refer to as the canaliculi. You can see the concentric lamellae arranged around the central canal. You can also see the lacunae are represented here, the canaliculi going through the concentric lamellae. And here again we can see osteocytes and the osteocytes are represented right over here. So you can see our osteocytes colored in again with their blue nuclei represented and processes going through the canaliculi so that the osteocytes are in communication with one another. You can see that there are some vessels within the central canal. Uh, we have an artery represented here, a vein represented over here, and here is a nerve 